let's take a tentative look at generics. Alright, welcome back to Java Introduction here for Minecraft and Hightail Modding. And in this tutorial, we're going to be making a tentative look at generics. So the idea is that this is, of course, the last tutorial of the series. Hopefully the series was very useful to you and you learned some new stuff. And maybe as a beginner, you, you know, had something to work through and to get at least a little bit off the ground. And now are ready basically for either Minecraft modding or Hightail modding once... The game is actually out <laughs> but whatever the case may be we want to take a tentative look at generics so we've seen generics before when we had a list and we could just put in an integer here for example and this is just like something like numbers right so numbers and then just a new array list there you go right and then bam done and we were able to put in anything that we want here so we have also seen that we were able to make a list of animals so our own custom classes we could put anything in there because this is a generic now we can also make our own generics and sometimes we have to sort of you know deal with generics especially in minecraft modding there are some parts where we have to deal with this and for that i want to show you i want to make a new class basically a generic class so this is going to be the pair and this is able to store two well two values of whatever data type we want so what we do is we after they pair here we put in the angled brackets and then x y and then these are basically sort of placeholders for the data types that we're going to use meaning i'm now going to have a private x first so the first field here is of type x mm, interesting and then a private y called second and this field is now a data of data type, data type y which of course, when I'm creating this pair, I have to specify. So right now, those are literally just uh, placeholders. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just generate a constructor, first of all, for both of these. Yes. And you can see that now X and Y are also parameters here. That's totally fine. And now I'm going to blow your mind even more when I'm making getters and setters for both the first and the second you can see that we're returning x's and we're also taking x's in here so once again the x and the y here for the generics are only placeholders so they can be you know anything that they uh, want to be basically so if i want to make a new pair now i have to specify hey what is the are these types right so okay integer and float for example and i can just say pair and then a new pair here might be 20 and 2f for example and then there you go that works what you will might what you might see actually is something where you can specify that this particular type has to extend from something. So I can actually say extends. I don't know if float actually works necessarily, but I can, could do this. I don't think that float actually uh, you know inherits anywhere, but that's okay. You can actually go into those classes, middle mouse button click, and then you can actually go in there. So this doesn't really make a lot of sense in this case, but this might be something that you will see in you know, especially in the modding for in Forge, sometimes in Fabric, I believe as well. But this is something that is prevalent there where you can only put certain classes in there that extend from other classes. That's actually very interesting. And then there's another thing that you can do. So if we actually delete this, that is called a question mark, right? So this one right here, and this would be called a wildcard generic, something like that, I believe. And this is also sometimes what you will see. I'm not going to go into too much detail on either of those. So either the extending of the generics or the wild card here, we're just going to leave it as is. I just wanted to show you with like a tiny, tiny view into this, just so that you have seen this before and that you aren't caught off guard entirely. So that's sort of the idea. But in general, first of all, I want to say congratulations, especially if you went through the entire Java introduction here. That is actually pretty, pretty crazy and pretty good like that's a great thing and hopefully this has given you some solid understanding of java so that you are at least equipped to start sort of bootstrapping right because the the interesting thing is that as soon as you've learned enough java that you can think about oh i want to do this and then you can do it even even if you have to google a little bit here a little bit there first of all google is your best friend when programming let no one ever tell you that oh you have to just know everything that's ridiculous no one knows anything like in in programming you it's way more important that you know the general let's say outsides and the very specifics how do i read in a file i don't know i look that up like it's it's like of course if you have done it like a hundred times at some point you are going to memorize it roughly but usually you just google that hey how do i you know read in a file 
Java. Bam, done. And so never be afraid to Google stuff. It's like the best thing that you have at your disposal. Stack Overflow is such an insane resource that I don't even know why like that that exists is a dream, like genuinely. So overall, this is sort of the send off here for the Java introduction. Uh, I hope that you found this useful, not only this video, but the entire series. And I hope that now you are equipped for modding in your game, may it be Minecraft or once again, Hytale once it comes out, finally. Well, let's hope. Let's pray for that one. But whatever the case may be, this would be it for this tutorial and this tutorial series. I genuinely hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If there's anything else that is on your mind, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I'll try to respond and answer questions best of my ability. But otherwise, I will see you in the next tutorials. And I'll also see you in the next year. So, yeah.